data science and data analytics? Are they the same thing? Now, this question was asked after my last video, and in this video, we'll make an attempt to provide an answer. My name is Peter Okodie, and on this channel, I share tech-related tips, especially around my journey in data science and analytics. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any valuable insight we share. That said, let's get started. It's worthwhile to understand the differences between data science and data analytics to better comprehend what these two fields are. After all, these are two different job roles and somebody who works in the field of data science is known as a data scientist, while someone who works in the field of data analysis is known as a data analyst. Differentiating between data science and data analytics is something tricky because the job appears somewhat similar. However, we can classify everything data mining, data forecasting as simply data science. And that's because data science is the overarching umbrella term that, con that covers all the tasks related to finding patterns in large data sets training machine learning models and deploying AI applications. Data analytics could be argued to be one task that resides under the data science umbrella. It's a specialization of data science and it focuses on querying, interpreting and visualizing data sets. If you are eyeing a career as a data scientist, buckle up. You see, data science is iterative, meaning data science forms a data scientist forms hypotheses and experiments to see if um, a desired outcome can be achieved using available data. It's a futuristic journey of hypothesis, experimenting, and turning data into actionable insights. And that is a process that is known as the data science life circle, which usually follows seven phases. So first, it's to identify a problem or opportunity. Then the next phase is data mining, which is to extract the relevant data um, to the problems or the opportunities from large data sets. Now, that data will likely consist of a bunch of redundant um, data and errors, which is fixed in the next stage, which is called data cleaning. And then at that point, we move on to the exploratory data analysis. This is where we try to make sense of the data that we are working on. We'll then apply feature engineering using domain knowledge to extract details from that data. And then we do something called predictive modeling to use the data to predict or forecast future outcomes and behaviors. And then Finally, we have data visualization that presents the data to the stakeholder using graphic tools such as charts and animations. The role of a data scientist is an in-demand profession right now. And I discussed about this in my video here. If that's something you are interested in, you want to develop deep skills in machine learning and AI. It's helpful to be able to write codes in languages such as Python and you should have experience working with big data platforms like Hadoop and Apache Spark. It's also very helpful to have database knowledge such as SQL. But what about data analytics? Well, the job of a data analyst is to conceptualize a data set as it currently exists. So we have some data here and we need to do something with it. And we need to be able to make decision based on this data. How do we conceptualize it? That's all data analysis is. Well, there are at least four ways 
one is through predictive analytics, which identifies trends and correlations within a data set. An example is um, forecasting when the inventory of our pastries would have gone off the shelves. Or in healthcare, forecasting regions which will experience a rise in flu cases over the winter periods. In housing, we could have a forecast to see when certain repairs would need to be done on the properties. And there is prescriptive analytics, and that predicts likely outcomes and makes decision recommendations like predicting when a tire will wear out and what needs to be replaced. There is also the diagnostic analytics, which helps pinpoint reasons an event occurred. So manufacturers can analyze a failed component within an assembly line and figure out the reason behind that failure. And then there is descriptive analytics, which evaluates the qualities and the quantities of a data set. So a content streaming platform like YouTube might use descriptive analytics to understand how many subscribers it lost or how many it gained over a given period of time, as well as what contents are being watched the most. As you can see, while the data scientist is a, is a clearly defined and specialized role, virtually any stakeholder can be a data analyst. For example, business analysts can use BI dashboards to conduct business analytics and visualize KPIs, but many organizations employ dedicated data analysts responsible for data wrangling and interpreting findings like why a company's marketing campaign didn't meet expectation. If you want to be a data analyst, it helps to have both analytical and programming skills. So this includes familiarizing yourself with database. Also, you would need to know about statistical analysis. Data visualization is another important skill you need to have. In a nutshell, data analytics is often more focused on using statistical tools and techniques to interpret existing data and offer actionable insights. It's usually less concerned with creating new algorithms or models. But data science, on the other hand, has a broader scope that can involve complex machine learning algorithms, often created from scratch. Um, data science focuses on phases from data collection to predictive modeling. But data analysis, on the other hand, is more about answering specific questions with available data. So, there you have it. Data science versus data analytics. If you found this content helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more tech tips, and drop a comment. Let me know where you've tuned in from. Share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.